Hey everybody, Shabo here. I'm back from the video and today. I'm going to be showing you how to use proximity prompts in Roblox. So the first thing I have to do is get your prompt. I'm going to get a part to put the prompt on. So I'm going to open this with this arrow. Next, I'm going to go to home and I'm just going to insert a block. I'm just going to scale it a little bit. I'm just going to make it red and then I'm going to anchor it so you can't push it around. Next, I'm going to go to view at the top, open up Explorer and properties. We're going to go to explore. We're going to open up workspace if you haven't already. We're going to right click the part, insert object, and then we can just type in proximity prompt. And now we have a proximity prompt object. As you can see, when we select it, we can go to properties and you can see a bunch of stuff that we can change with it. Like it requires lines of sight. So I'm going to keep it on. I'm going to leave this part here. We can see the hold duration which is how long you have to hold down the button for before it triggers the prompt. I'll set that to three seconds. We have the action text, which is what the action is. So I'm just going to put it to like fling. Max activation distance is how far away you can be before you can't use it. The key code is what key you have to press on your keyboard. So if I put it to something like really inconvenient, like V or like Z, now I'll press Z to use the prompt. Enabled is just if you want to turn it on or off. And then I'm going to change the object object text to red part. Now if I enter the game here, if I press play, as you can see here, there's a proximity prompt. And because Ricard's line of sight is on, if I go behind here, I can't use it unless I move my camera over it. And I have to hold it down for three seconds by holding Z and then it would fling the object, but we haven't scripted that in yet. So we're gonna start scripting the proximity prompt so we can actually do something. So I'm gonna press stop. I'm gonna go to the proximity prompt. I'm gonna right click it, insert object, and then insert a script. I'm gonna delete that because we don't need it. Now we're gonna set up some variables. So they'll go prompt equals script.parent, and they'll go part equals prompt.parent. That's basically all we need. Prompt.triggered, which is whenever someone uses it, connect function and then player. Whenever a player uses the prompt, it'll trigger all of the code inside of here. First, I'm going to check if it's on a cooldown. Use I'm going to make a cooldown for it. So if prompt.enabled, then we can do the code. And then prompt.enabled equals false. And then it won't be able to be used for a little bit. You can basically put whatever you want from here and then put prompt.enabled equals true at the end if you want it to appear back up. For this part, I'm just going to make it fling. So part network owner equals nil. We have to do this because this is a server script. And if we try to set the velocity of a part on the server, and if a player's near it, 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 just, it just won't fling. And then we're just going to send it somewhere. Who knows? It's going to go somewhere. And then we're going to wait three seconds. And then we're going to put the prompt back up. Now that we're done with the script, I'm going to unanger the part so we can actually fling it. Now if I press play here, if I go up to the part, I can use the prompt. I can cancel it by stopping holding Z. I'm going to stand on it for this and I'm going to hold a Z on it. And then once the prompt finishes, it's going to fling. It has a three second cooldown. You can't really see it because it got flung all the way over there. I'm going to do it again because the cooldown is over. And as you can see, it flings again. And that's how you use proximity prompts in Roblox. Make sure to slap that like button and punch the subscribe button.